All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303com Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Put in the healing back and health coming at you today with a video about free will. Now, this is a big issue if you're talking, you know, I guess in any debate, that's going to be a big thing on like Christianity versus science or anything like that. That's, it's going to be a part of the discussion of free will. And I was listening to one of my talks this past week, and it said something about, I don't know if it's more of an atheist point of view or the science community, but they talk about how there's no free will. Because, you know, everything is just, well, they just try to say everything is a chemical reaction in the body, right? Whether it's your hormones, if you're a male, testosterone's pumping, whatever, you know, if you have your, your hunger urges, it could be leptin, I think it's leptin, I can't think of the other one right now, but right, all these different hormones or electrical impulses in the body, in the brain, are what cause reactions. And if that's the case in the, as a scientific view, then there is no free will because I am a victim to the hormones or to the electrical impulse within my body. And to me, that would mean no free will. That would be kind of like a dog, right? If a dog's in heat, what do they do? They just, right? They try to have sex. It is what it is. That's what the dogs do. That's what animals do. You know, that's what they say. Isn't it funny in nature? It's like, oh, it's mating season. So it's almost in that sense, like, you know, they, they, to me, that's not free will. You can automatically know when mating season comes around. So that's not free will. They are governed just by program. Humans, we are not programmed, right? We have the ability to fight these urges. Just because I have that feeling of, hey, I feel like I need to, I need to engage in sex doesn't mean I do, right? That's free will. I have the ability to say no and overcome that urge. If you're struggling with drug addiction, alcohol addiction, you have the ability to say, hey, no, I'm not going to participate in this activity anymore and I'm going to give it up and move in a different direction. And that's free will. But if you go from a scientific point of view where it's just, hey, hormones are, are secreting, you know, electrical impulses are shooting, and hey, you're just victim to what happens. That would be the equivalent of no free will. But we as human beings, that's what makes us special. We have that ability to understand that right and wrong, what's good for us, what's good for others, what's, you know, the morals, and we are able to overcome these things. That's free will. Now, one thing, though, is I want to get in, people always want to, there's a consequence to free will. You know, people will always say, well, I don't understand, and this is going to be a difficult, it's going to be difficult to apply this concept to everything, because of course, you know, there are bad things that happen. But I'm going to use this scenario in death or illness, right? If someone gets cancer, for me, I have free will, right? I'm a human being. I have free will. So from 16, maybe even a little younger, 15, from 15 to 27, so what's that, 12 years, I really mistreated my body, right? And I drank a lot of alcohol did my fair share of drugs, and really abused my body, right? Now, just because now, in the last five years, six years, I've decided to take responsibility for my actions and start treating my body better, doesn't mean that what I did in the past is all of a sudden all the consequences are eliminated, right? I've still damaged my body for 12 years. I've only been treating my body healthy for five right? So now there's a consequence to that free will. Now, you know, then people want to say, oh my God, I can't believe he died at 55. My father died at 55. He was so young. Why would that happen? Well, you know what? I'm sorry. He was a, you know, for parts of his life, he was a heavy drinker, a heavy drug user, and he smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. At times he would smoke a pack of cigarettes a day and chew a can of chew it a day of tobacco. There's consequences to your action. doesn't matter if he decided to follow God and Preach the good word of Jesus, Buddha, Allah, whatever it is. Hey, you made mistakes in the past. You have to now face up to it, 
right? There's a consequence to free will. It's not, hey, God decided to punish you. No, you didn't take the right path. You did what was wrong. You neglected yourself. You neglected that person. You neglected that person. Relationships fall apart. That's why you went to jail. He was such a good person. Whatever, things happen. And there are consequences for your actions. So, hey, yeah, he died at 55. And he might have tried to make lifestyle changes, but sometimes it's too late. Right? You, you've got, you can't decide to make these changes when all of a sudden you're diagnosed with cancer. Oh, now I have cancer. I need to, uh, I need to make a lifestyle change. Well, you know, that's the unfortunate thing nowadays. People don't want to make the choice until they're forced to. And then unfortunately at that point, like my father, he was unable to make that change. So it's the sooner you can get a hold of these things and take control and use your free will. That's the problem. We don't want to use our free will. We let the hormones control us. We let ourselves become little program robots. Oh, well, I'm feeling like it, so I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right? It's not what it's about. It's about using your free will. It's a gift from God, and you're not using it. You're just a little robot, a little puppet going along saying, hey, just because, you know, just because the hormones are making me feel this way, I feel sad, I feel happy, I'm going to do it. Stop being a robot. Stop being a slave to sin, a slave to urges, a slave to these temptations, and use your free will. Free will is the ability to say no. That's pretty much free will, because you're always going to be bombarded a majority of the time with negative things in your life. Whether you've programmed yourself, for me, it's trying to overcome um, profanity. You know, I've, I've cussed for so long and listened to gangster rap music for so long, it's very difficult for me to break that habit. But God has instilled in me the ability to say no and to change my ways, to change my way of thinking. Uh, it's just putting it into practice and coming up with a valuable process or, you know, just a, a process that's going to help you eliminate this urge, emotion, sensation, whatever it is. So, yes, we have free will. We're not a victim to these hormones and anything like that. You have the free will. You have the ability to say no. Hey, and just remember, you know, stop that YOLO, you only live once crap. I'm sorry, if you're living to 55, you only die once. You live every single day, right? So, take control now. Use your free will now before things get out of hand. And 10 years down the road, you're in a mess. Next year, you're in a mess. We all struggle with it. I'm no different. But you yourself need to start taking control. I need to start taking control and using that power of no and that power of yes, that free will to do what's right. Okay? So, I hope that helps. Subscribe to the channel. Share and like these videos.